Hello everyone, I just wanted to show you from my other video that there are more settings that you can change to get better frame rate. Again, I'm playing on a 1060 6GB graphics card, a Ryzen 5 2600 CPU, and I've only got 16GB RAM as well, which is the minimum, but the graphics card falls way below the minimum. So if you enable console and type in r.vsync, uh, I think you can enable this, I'm not sure, it does say so I think that's enabled I do r.vsync vsync is disabled by default so uh, in your game mini you can change that, I'm not sure why it's not changing there maybe there's an issue or something but when I did type one my screen tearing went away so I think it might actually change it, it just doesn't tell you that it's changed but yeah i had bad screen tearing because uh, of the monitor refresh rate but now that's gone so i believe it does work it just doesn't say it is uh, and then so my video settings the resolution scale is a big one for frame rate if you want to get more frames lower it if you are okay where you're at maybe higher it or just find the balance Resolution, I've heard that 4K is causing a lot of issues for a, peop for a lot of people, so drop it down to 1080 and you'll be fine. You'll be good to go. So motion blur, light, bloom and light shafts, they are like personal preference. They haven't made a difference to my frames. They just make the game look different. So advanced graphics, I've just done the test. And I think it pushes your graphics card, but I'm not too sure what it actually changes if you see. I'll get shadow flickers now. Not sure why or what it changes, but I can go to medium on it. But again, I'm not too sure what it changes, and a game doesn't look too bad without it on anyway. So let's have a look. Anti anti aliasing is what anti aliasing is. So 22 frames. Let's see if it makes a difference. It, I got two extra frames from turning it off. So, again, you know, just doing this back and forth, you might find some good settings that make it look good and playable at the same time for what you're working with graphics card wise, anyway. So, anti anti aliasing got two extra frames. You might be able to put it on at least something. Epic, let's have a look. So, I was getting 22, 21. don't think it makes too much of a difference to not have it on and it may end up uh, looking better as well so view distance that's going to make an impact because you're rendering in more you can view more textures I didn't notice a difference with I don't believe anyway let me just check okay so it goes up it fluctuates and then it comes back down again maybe a frame one frame not too sure that's textures on low. 35 frames, let's have a look. It made no difference. It made like a couple, but textures, yeah, again, I didn't notice a difference, so that's why I had it up higher. It may affect you, so again, play around, but it didn't make a difference with me. Post processing, I th believe this one does make a difference. And it'll affect stuff that's done after this, after visuals are rendered, and then it gets changed afterwards. If that's correct, anyway, you can correct me in the comments or whatever. So yeah, getting 20 frames, 19. Looking at this forest in the background. If we turn that back down to low, 19, 21 frames. So again, that's what I believe is being changed after it's rendered so I don't think it makes too much of a difference maybe more CPU than GPU shadows I turn them off because I think they're an unnecessary resource uh, hog anyway you know especially for a game that is on Unreal Engine 5 like now see that one down from 22 21 down to 18 so you're just getting a few extra frames from turning off shadows I think that's worth it Global illumination quality, I haven't really checked this one out, so this one's new for me. 
I think that is like me 20 frames down to 10 yeah so that's a well to 18 now so that's a big one put that down to low and we should end up yeah straight oh that's that's quick effect quality I'm guessing like smoke and everything like that yes there's going to be less particles rendered so that will make a difference foliage quality I haven't I haven't checked again so we're checking all this stuff live uh, with you at the same time I can test it as we go to see if it makes an impact and what difference it does make so I'm getting 18 frames 18, 19 let's go back down to low 20 yeah so you get you get that few extra frames so again if you're struggling turn it down let's move on to the next one so I said about motion blur and all that off light low light enhancement mm, I'll have to check that at night time I'm not gonna suggest anything with that just yet but I do know when I've had that off if you look at the Sun your screen goes a bit dimmer accordingly and then when you look back at like the forest and the, I think you saw the change then yeah so when I look at the trees it dims back down again because it dim it's strange but it automatically adjusts to what you're looking at whether it be in a bright scene or a dark scene so there's not really any use for the constant gamma changes now when playing arc so that's uh, one good thing foliage interaction I'm not sure so these are more like preference more than anything I'm not sure if they make a difference if you have foliage interaction on and then you have the distance high I would imagine that makes a difference but these I've just turned off particles again more particles rendered it's going to affect your game and frames decals I'm not too sure uh, that'll just be images of your feet I'm guessing that'd be a cool one to even test because I never really tested that but all of these have just turned off RTX I don't mess with because I don't think I've got it. Yeah, and it lets me change that one. Camera preference again. Bobbin. Dino camera mode. Loose camera is horrible. <laughs> it's probably nice for some people, but I find it horrible. FOV and camera shake. All of these are my preference. So no shake at all. Well, yeah, so that's my video. Let's check the decals out. Oh yeah, there. Yeah. That is actually pretty cool. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Fair enough. So all these little things that you can change. Even that. That's like um. I don't know. Not like not like a quality of life change, but more like a visually visual aesthetic sort of change. If you wanted it on. <laughs> But yeah, these are my settings. If you want to copy these and you're on a low-end computer and you've already bought the game, or if you're on the same as me, this is a, a video showing that it's possible, but I'm not telling you to do it. So I got a 1066 gigabyte Ryzen 5, 2616 gigabytes RAM. Falls way under the minimum recommended specs, but I can play it. It is playable. It's low relatively low frames you're going to be getting that 30 minimum but i've minimum wise maybe 19 and even then that's in like i'm running through a forest looking moving around and i'm getting 25 oh that's cool 21 to 25 let's have a look nice this is pretty cool now watch this there we go That particle made me go down a little bit then to 19, I noticed that. But this is what I'm doing with something that falls under. So if you do have the minimum at 1080 uh, graphics card, then you will most likely and hopefully get that minimum stable 30 frames with the settings that either I have or you're able to change them to better ones. But yeah, anyway, thank you for watching and... Uh, Hope you enjoy Ark Survival Ascended and I'll see you in the next video.